thankfully these are Jess is drilling. Houston, we have a problem. Today, we're gonna to be tackling an issue, this issue down in the lady lounge. We need to reorganize some things and I've decided to reignite the moving vlogs. I vlogged the entire move to this house from my old house with the deconstruction of the game room, the reconstruction of the lady loft here, which is not done, and the lady lounge downstairs, which is not done. Um, and I'm gonna be tidying that up today because it's starting to become an incredible burden on me every time I walk in and it's just a mess and it just messes with my mental health when I go in, because believe it or not, I do like things really, really clean and tidy. So we're gonna tackle some of that today. So I thought, in all fairness, this might not be a great video for you. This is just for entertainment purposes only. And I think for me, it's quite fun. I like to document it because I like to look back and see how far things have come and how things have changed. And you might get a chance to have a little nosy around what's going on down there. So without further ado, we're gonna go down, reorganize some shelves, move some consoles, and hopefully we'll feel good afterwards. I hope. Let's go. The first thing we're doing is getting everything out of here off the floor and we're gonna just hoover it. These are what we're donating to the children's ward at the end of July. There's four Nintendo Switches here. Go and watch the playlist where we build a retro game collection from a box. This is where we're at so far, we're giving it all away. Akira Film Cells, I did a YouTube short on these. I'll link them in the cards if you want to check them out. Dark Angel Symphony, got this at the last Tomb Raider event in Derby. This year at TR27, I'm going to be interviewing the voice actress of Tomb Raider 2 and 3 on the PS1, Judith Gibbons. Please come and get some tickets, I'll link it in the description. Right, that'll do. I'm going to hoover everything. Um, I could really do with moving them PS1 games. And then we're going to have a, like a reshuffle. Might kind of take all these consoles out and put games on there, but it's then what to do with the consoles, guys. Come on! And now we come back later. More moments later. I need a few seconds of your time to tell you about channel memberships. If you guys want to become a channel member, click join from the main page or the second link in the description. There are three tiers, all with different perks for you if you want to become a team member. Thanks for your time. Let's continue with the video. Four years ago, my friend got me a mushroom and a, uh, a pipe salt and pepper shaker but I just keep it as if like it's just a really cool little ornament. I think it looks wicked. Level one, freshness complete. Time to tackle this. Phase one, I'm gonna get everything out of the cubes and I believe I'm gonna have a combination of consoles and games on here. Mm -hmm. 
the absolute monster beefcake Atari Jaguar controller. It actually feels quite ergonomic, but it just looks hideous. The SNES Junior, this was an NTSC exclusive, or was it? Because I have something cool coming from Japan in the next couple of weeks. And the Jaguar herself. Interesting console. It's a shame it never got the love it could have deserved, but uh, happy to have one in the collection. But quite an extensive Jag game collection back there. Pretty cool. We need to find a new home for that though. The beloved Multi Mega. This is immaculate. This was recapped when I purchased this. This is an absolute beautiful hybrid console. The Mega Drive and the Mega CD. Wow. Let's keep that nice and wrapped. Might even have that one out. If I do say so myself, Molly. We'll get the gorgeous PS1 out, give her a clean. We're nearly there. We're nearly ready to put games on. This is very exciting. And my Xbox Crystal. I have two of these. I believe one of them is modded and one isn't. Alright, we have a wicked combination of Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, DS, 3DS, and I'm going to put these in the cubes that have backs and have the consoles in the ones that don't have the backs. Molly's over there sighing, but we're going to go alphabetical order uh, because that's just better. Um, unfortunately, these boxes, some of them are quite crumpled, which isn't the best, but... Uh, we will do our best. I think I'm going to order a load of Game Boy Advance like plastic box protectors from Etsy. I think that that will obviously make these sit in here a hell of a lot nicer as well as giving that level of protection. Um, but what I'm doing is just sorting GBA and Game Boy, kind of separating the two um, for now. We're there. All right. I've always hated Game Boy Advance, um, like spines, because you can never really see <laughs> what you're getting. Most of these look okay, so you should be able to see what's what when they're lodged in. So this is the PS2 corner. I keep some of my um, original Xbox games down here as well. Games that I just literally don't have room for on the shelf and that's what we're going to do now. There's a few additional ones mixed in. This needs to go upstairs because my PS4 collection, PS5, 360, PS3 is all upstairs in the lady loft. So I'm just going to chuck that down here. Um, we've got a Rogue Street Fighter Alpha 2. Sega Saturn title that I should have space for up there and we've got Pandemonium, we've got three actually, we've got the Lost Vikings and Pandemonium. These were pickups from the um, Birmingham Gaming Market 
Um, so I'm going to actually get rid of them. <laughs> Not get rid, but you know what I mean. And um, yeah, managed to get as well. I don't think I've shown you guys, but I actually did find Cold Fear on the PS2. We got it on the, the original Xbox as well. Hidden gems, hidden gems. So unfortunately for now, what I'm going to have to do is put these three on this pile of messy PS2 games. This has not been sorted out for quite some time. There's original Xbox in here. There's even the Street Fighter 2 animated movie lurking down there. So I hate to do this, but just for now, these are going on that pile. Level three next, console cupboard. You might think this is unorganized, but I can assure you this is meticulously placed. So there's some consoles that I've bought recently, the predominantly in here with box, that we need to put away. And you say, well, why, why don't you play them? I do play them, I do, I really, really do. There's a lot I don't do on camera, and I do play my retro stuff. I just grab stuff out there. I was a bit of a weirdo, like, as a kid, I'd always have my things boxed away. I never liked things out. So for this, a lot of this stuff being out for me gives me the heebie-jeebies, but uh, we're gonna have to put some consoles away just to make this space a bit tidier. So let's do that. Thankfully, these are Jess is drilling. Thankfully, these are pretty light, so we're going to put these away and get them out uh, when we've got some more room. I might actually store these. I have some space and some ideas for in the lady loft, but we might do another episode where I tidy that. We might not. Perfect. Okay, so there's still a little bit to do. It's just the consoles to put away that we got out of here. Got the little poochie hiding down there. Hi, Miley. We had stuff all here. That's been put away. Lots of things have been put away. This is actually to go upstairs, my uh, Tomb Raider vinyl. So we'll just actually pop you there. But I think this looks a million times better. I actually sit on here now play some PS5, have a relatively clean space. Once all these things have been put away, it's gonna be just how it was before, and that's nice and clean. Um, if you wanna see a tour of the Lady Lounge and the Lady Loft, I'll link it in the cards. Um, it might differ slightly to what you see here, but nonetheless, I think this is a pretty good result, guys.